Well, animal lovers, they often treat their pets as if they're human. And, uh, you know, they can be a lot like us, right? Mm -hmm. no, they have feelings. Baby. Okay, so for instance, it's common for dogs to be scared and become anxious. Watch sure. this. What did they do? Put a GoPro on the dog? They did. And that particular dog has severe uh, separation anxiety. And it's a real issue for uh, dog owners, Chris. Yeah, uh, we're here with Dana Humphrey. She is the pet lady, our pet expert here. And how are you? Hey, I'm great. More importantly, how's Jazz doing, this puppy? This is Jazz. She's actually very anxious today. Um, she has OCD and some other prescribed anxiety disorders. What, what are the types of anxieties for dogs? There's a few. There's separation anxiety, there's travel anxiety, um, confined spaces, and also noise anxiety. When there's fireworks, loud noises, like right now with buses going by and other... Uh, happening. Jazz, sorry we Jazz stuck you on Market Street, buddy. <laughs> sorry about that. What are some of the signs sure. that your dog is getting anxious or has a, has a problem with anxiety? So drooling, panting, pacing, um, any repetitive behaviors, excessive grooming, um, any, you know, repeated actions kind of can be a sign that they might be having some anxiety. The noise that um, Jazz is making right now is also, um, you know, a uh, representation of what might be an anxious dog. So if you're hearing this sort of whimpering slash getting ready to bark sound yes. that's a sign yes one of the things that uh, a lot of people are dealing with right now is that they go out of town yep. they put their dog in a kennel and board them overnight sometimes for a week or two straight yeah what does that do to a dog sure so that that helps you know that's with some confinement issues um, being in a small space and also separation anxiety if a dog is really attached to their human or their their pet parent um, they're not gonna like that too much right yeah. being in solitary confinement away from their parent um, and they they might not be socialized to play with other dogs, and that might not be interesting to them if their sole focus is on their owner. My, my family's been out of town, so it's just been my dog and me. My dog's been moping around lonely, bored. And then the kids and my wife came home, and they're all excited. The dog's excited. I said, great. I guess I was chopped liver. <laughs> so. Well, some ways that you can help your pet deal with the anxiety is one thing is that your pets know how you feel. So if you feel calm and cool and collected, they're going to also sense that. If you're very hyper and high strung and anxious, they're also going to sense that and pick up on that. So don't drink too much coffee around your dog. Coffee is a, is a no, no. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, it does help to not drink a lot of coffee if you're going to be having a stressed day. Right. Um, there are some situations like when you're moving that you know your dog might be more stressed now what do we um, look at these are ways to calm yeah. your dog what are these things so actually uh, jazz here is wearing the AKC calming coat um, this is an anxiety wrap solution so it just um, envelops them and, and yes. makes them feel yes. sort of calm because there's that pressure yeah it's a pressure wrap so it seems like your dog's getting a hug right so Aww. they you know it helps them out with um, stressful situations something else you can do is get an old t-shirt something that has your scent on it like this yep and okay. you just put it in their bed you put it in in their crate oh, and it helps them remind them of what you smell like so they don't feel so lonely. Now what is this like? These are actually lavender infused collars. So it actually has a little pocket inside where you um, you put a little lavender scent and oh. then your dog um, is a little bit calmer. It's a natural 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 remedy. Just like we humans like. We yeah, like lavender. That's exactly. Well. Yeah, not, Another so. option is to, yes, a massage. Give your dog a relaxing what? massage. You give this your dogs the massages? Pot therapy cream by Jorge Benderski. You can give your dog a paw massage or just like a body massage. It's called Tellington Touch. Give your dog a nice massage before you leave for the day and they'll be calmer and cooler. Just like if you got a massage every morning. Would this work on Mike if he needs to relax for the show? <laughs> is it, it good for humans it does, or not? Yes, it would, it would work as well. Mike, I'll bring it in for you. There you go. And then you can always check out some calming treats that also have some natural um, ingredients that help calm your dog really down. Really interesting. Thank you so much, Dana. Thank you. All right, guys, send it back to you. She should rub some of that on Chris Murphy's, like, hand. Oh, she should. She is wired in the morning. <laughs> really? Maybe calm that will help down. a little bit. You should do that, just like a pre-show ritual kind of thing. Get some of that. All right, something to get the perfect fit.